of Himself is able to engrace us, to give us grace that is not sufficient. He can engrace us. The only thing we need to do is to open our hearts. When the Lord knocks your heart, open that door. When He seeks, ensure that He finds. Ensure. Then the flesh will be sufficient. Another point is uh, our God is able to give solutions. Oksana, the book of John, chapter 2, uh, used to be what? I will speak about it. Alafu, yes, you, then he said, Why in Asia? Then, when I could not be a mama, ah, where's the wine? He mumbled the Fanica Ibio, and I said, Mmm, Fanini Ibi. Mama never by yes, and I'll be a cubby mother. Alafu, to Fanyadi. Yes, and I said, My time has not reached. Like in a memory, and someone, oh, Fanya too. Just just keep them that. Then, and I said, My comba, Mama Nana, and I said, Whatever he tells you. Do it. The Bible does not record your kwamba. Yesu aliwambi agenda wa mayake. Enda uwambi e chochote ni kwambi. Anu mandi kwa mali. Did Jesus tell the mother? Enda uwambi e chochote ni kwambi a wafali. The mother ali dijazia. Yakwamba kwamba mtoto me kubali na zema. Aha. When that man speaks, do what he says. And that is why I want to tell the choir that are here. When the Lord speaks to you. Just follow that heart and do what the Lord wants. Just do what the Lord wants. And then the solution in the particular, why in the Tekanes was here. This one, believe me, will be Pakisha. Mugay Nagama Pema. 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 Mugay the Lord brings mountains into our groups and music groups. Even in our choirs, even in our churches, even in the leadership of the elders, even in the leaders of the women, even in the youth groups, God brings mountains not to hinder us from moving, but to show the world that the mountains can be moved. Hallelujah. Milima in a skumwa. The moment you believe that God is able. Our third last point. Our God is patient. The God that I serve is so patient. I mean, in the care of God, you need to believe. You need to believe, sir. Mimi wana kwa ya nakuja hapa, mimi mubini nakuja hapa, lakini mawazo yangu, siya bingu. Siya bingu. In fact, kuna watu, probably kuna mutu wapa kuna mwesti ya taimu. Wakati wake kufunga vuta bangi imefika. Wakati wake kufunga sigara imefika. Kuna mtu wako na date. In fact kuna date anangotewa. Kitu kama saa 10 hivi anafaa kuwa na meet na mtu ambaye anamuita kwamba huyu ni mtu wangu na ni illegal. Ninaomba kwamba toroka kanisa leo. Ukifika kwa mlango ukikonga tu mlango ukisema tu bebe upate kuna bebe mwingine huko in Jesus name. Amen. Obi nangu ni kwamba kama unatoka hapa na Nairobi na labda yeye anaishi Thika. Ukifika Thika upate aliyama. Na simu yake imezimwa. And that is my prayer in Jesus name. Amen. The reason why I'm saying this because those marriages are illegal. Hata katika makoya zetu sasa hizi kuna illegal marriages. Watu wametongozana, wakatongozana, baba wametongozana. It makes poor fall. Nimegonga mali sasa kuangalia kushika. Naona kuna niangalia hivi wacha nirudie. Kuna illegal marriages katika makwaya. Elder ni sema mali siseme. Simelee kusema. Ehe. No wonder unapata kwamba mtu akiambiwa asolo wimo fulani anasema yuko mgonjwa hadi kusolo. Kwa nini? Kwa maana huyo jamaa anamwambia asolo ambaye ni mwalimu ama ama ndio kiongozi alimweta na akachukua mzana mwingine kwa the same choir. Kichwa yako ni mbaya. A girl will ask herself ya kwamba wewe utazungukwa mara ngapi? I'm speaking to the women, to the ladies of this church. Ya kwamba to the girls and the ladies utazungukwa mara ngapi? Hii mwaka uko na huyu, next month uko na hii launch uko na huyu. Hiyo launch ingine nasikia ndio ndio mbili ikitakuwa na mwingine. Wewe kila siku uko na mwingine mpya. Every day is a new day in a relationship. And these people discuss you. Mm, what are the way of man? Man, I say, Carlo. Man, I say, Diego. 
Roho Mtakatifu ambiwa wala waelewe. Huyo tulimalizana na yeye mmm kuna ni hapa hapa. And no wonder when your wedding comes watu wanataka kanisani unatakanikiwa. Aya, kumbe ni kwa napendwa. They have come to confirm that stupid man ambaye anakuoa. Kwa maana walishaba risala na wewe. And even the men will come to confirm who is this foolish lady? And I actually who you tulishaba kula na tukambaliza. It is my prayer that God is going to give us some wisdom. Hallelujah. Because the God I serve provides wisdom. Usikubali? Usikubali? <laughs> Where? When I discovered that, I wish ningepata watu wa kuambia. Alafu hapo ukisema kuna ma students nimefundisha hapa kuna msiama mmoja nimeona wa gomogo yuko hapo my dear simama tu akuone huyo na wengine hawa nimetandika kabisa hata labda tabia nzuri ambayo wako nayo ni hiyo ni instinct ndani yao kama ni mbaya si yangu hawa tumetandika wakiwa kwa kawaida proper lakini sasa hizi mtu na mtoto hataki mtoto aguswe hapa kanisani eh, diko na kichuna mtoto wako kidogo unaleta shida unanguruma unanguruma na kwa nyumba imekushida mimi namwambia tandika in school mimi naambia mwalimu chapa bora usiwe chapa <laughs> akaniambia eh, sasa unakubali una na namwambia ni chapie itachapa nyumbani we chapa shuleni na diko zinaomba kwamba ni chapieni kanisani haleluya chuna popa Nilikuwa nabeba mtoto wa mtu nikiwa diko mpaka la SDA ninabeba mtoto nikitoa nje hivi mtoto amekaza sura amekaza sura kwa sababu nimechuna alafu nikifika mlangoni ninaachilia ndio kilio inatoka mimi nikikuchuna hawezi lia sasa hiyo unalia nikiachilia wa mama akasema wewe acha tuone atazaa watoto atakaje it is i'm not bragging but god has given me good children kama unapanga kwa roga wewe ni yako aitawafikia baba yao ni mtumishi haleluya the prayer that i make for my children each and every day the lord shall not allow your mouth to reach them mimi mtoto wangu hizi mpata amepata madhabahu atinahubiri hapa amekuja inaimekuja the only time niliona mtoto wangu mwanaume alipanda na nilikuwa nimeshaanza kukasirika na changanikiwa what is this man coming to do kumbe alikuwa analetea maji amenotice hiyo kanisa dadia na kunyonga maji hajapewa na mimi niko na hii wacha nipele nielekee nikasema baba asante kwa kunikumbuka <laughs> lakini ningekuwa jioni angekula vitu za ajabu kama si hiyo they know without telling them that is god god allow god to speak to your children allow god to speak to your wife allow god to speak to your husband allow god to speak to the leaders of the church allow god as leaders that god to speak to the members of the church so you can have a church that has harmony mtoto ashe kimyo kwa pool pita kadia baba 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 hiyo siku baba akufunga belt na hapo ndo shetani ni muongo baba baba huchu ichini hiyo ndio mbaba boxer imetaruka boxer imaizi ha ha baba baba anavuta baba alafu wewe unasema tu madadi enda tu ukae chini enda ukae chini mimi nakuwekelea sasa hiyo tu alafu na na kusomea biblia the bible says ya kwamba spare the rod and spoil the horse mtoto mpumbavu analeta machozi kwa mama mtoto mzuri analeta sifa kwa baba no wonder ukifail exam inakuwa ni we ni mjinga kama nani baba yako lakini pita tu mtiani e hey, mtoto wa baba nani mama hataonekana ngi it is my prayer that the women who are here we not allow themselves to cry amen usikubali wa mama ambao mko hapa naomba kwamba usikubali kulia let us do our duty to ensure that these children wana pata what they deserve Discipline ya ajabu. Discipline. Eh, hey, tunamalizia. The God of Israel is able to anoint. He anoints. He announces and he appoints. And anoint and announce 
death and our point. It is my prayer that the choirs who are here and individuals who are here, including the, the solo artists, the Lord shall anoint you. And after anointing you, the Lord shall announce you to the public. So the public may know this is an anointed person. Then the Lord shall appoint you to do his work. And that is my prayer. You know, in life we've been going around to the struggle. And I, have, I know we have so many struggles about the Wagatika Maisha Etu. We have struggles about Wagatika Kuziwacha. Things about the struggle each and every time. We play all of them. Lakini Zagata Kuwacha. The last verse, the summer. Ni Ezekiel 21, 27. Kula ule mjamani ni mpe simu yangu msijiri kwa hapa. Kula simu yangu yiko mahali. Eh, ni sama. Nitaikujia. Ezekiel 21, 27. 21, 27. Eh, eh. Andiko ni nasema. Mm-hmm. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. And it shall be no more until it come whose right it is. And I will give it him. How many times have you heard of a tongue? Three times. The God that I serve does that act. He does not overturn. <laughs> he overturns and overturns and overturns situations. You're, giving, you're losing hope in your choir. You're losing hope at the choir that you break. I'm telling you for sure, when you invite God into that situation, he shall overturn and overturn and overturn it. And people will be shocked to realize that you serve a God who can overturn. And not only overturn, but overturn and overturn. But not only overturn and overturn, but a God who can overturn and overturn and overturn it. That is the God I serve. Imagine if you have a lizard. You have a 